We're going to do a lesson here, a short lesson, that will help to expand your breath and improve your posture. You'll need a straight back chair and you'll need to remove your shoes. Take the chair and sit on the chair toward the front of the chair so that your back is not leaning on the backrest. Now, notice how you breathe. Where do you expand and contract when you breathe? You can look at your breath as a cylinder and your body moves in different places, a top, a bottom, sides, front and back, so that you could feel maybe the movement in your lower abdomen or the small of your back. You might be able to feel the movement in your sternum, also known as the breastbone, or between your shoulder blades. You might feel it on your sides, on the ribs under your armpits, or along your waistline. Let that go and take your right hand and put it on your ribs on the lower left side, near the floating ribs. The floating ribs are the last two ribs, the bottom two ribs of your rib cage. And they call them floating ribs because they are not attached indirectly or directly to your sternum. So you take your right hand and put it on your lower ribs on the left side, and you take your left hand and put it over your right arm and hold your ribs on your right side, the lower ribs. And holding yourself, hugging yourself like this, exhale as you push out your lower abdomen and look down. Notice what happens in your back when you do that. Let your back round. Get shorter as you exhale. Push out your lower abdomen and look down. And notice how you rock back on your sit bones. So allow yourself to rock back on your sit bones as you get shorter and exhale. And then as you begin to inhale, draw in your lower abdomen and look up. So you will arch your back a little bit. You'll look up. You'll rock forward on your sit bones as you inhale and draw your lower abdomen in. Now I'd like to point out that this is not a correct way to breathe or a advised way to breathe, but is only an exercise so that you can become aware of the different possibilities of breathing. So you're exhaling and inhaling in this way so that when you exhale, you push your lower abdomen in and you look down and round your back and rock back on your sit bones. And then when you inhale, you draw your lower abdomen in and you look up. And you, your back arches a little bit and you rock forward on your sit bones and you look up. So you go back and forth like this, exhaling and inhaling. Take your time. Do a gentle movement. Don't try to do more. It's not important how much you do or how fast you do it. Just take a normal breath. And after you've done that several times, then let that go and rest on the back of your chair. Resting is important when you're trying to learn something new. Now come forward on your chair with your feet flat on the floor, and this time switch which arm is on top so that the Right arm is on top of the left arm, holding your lower ribs, just like before. And continue doing the breathing so you round your back and lower your head, look down as you push your lower abdomen out and you rock back on your sit bones. And then when you inhale, you rock forward on your sit bones and look up as you arch your back and inhale. 
and you go back and forth like this just the same way that you did before. Pay attention to how your body will move now that you are restricting your lower ribs. Notice how there's a different movement in the rib cage, particularly the ribs in the upper front of your ribs in the sternum. Again, take a very gentle movement. Take your time. Do small movements. Take a normal breath. We are simply noticing the quality of the movement, not the quantity of the movement. And then after you've done that a few times, let that go and come to sitting on the front of your chair. Notice how you breathe. Notice what moves when you inhale and exhale. You may find that there may be movement between your shoulder blades or in your sternum or under your armpits or on the sides of your ribs. You might notice more movement of the breath in the back, in the lumbar vertebra or in your lower abdomen. You may also notice that you're sitting more comfortably, that your posture is more upright, but not working hard. You can do this lesson before your rehearsals, before your practicing, or before a performance so that you can have an expanded breath, a more full breath, and a more comfortable posture.